Hi everyone, my name is Brian Garrett. I'm the technical director of ESG Lab, and I'm here to tell you about a product I evaluated recently. During a couple days of hands-on testing, I evaluated the Quantum DXi series family of disk-based backup and replication appliances. My testing was focused on valuable capabilities introduced in late 2006, including data deduplication, WAN-based remote replication, VTL and NAS presentations, and enhanced performance. Here at ESG, we've been tracking the adoption of backup to disk technologies for a number of years. Our research indicates that a vast majority of data center managers have adopted some form of backup to disk or plan on doing so in the next year or two. While interest in backup to disk is at an all-time high, the cost of these solutions has been a real concern. As a matter of fact, in a recent ESG survey, we asked, what would keep you from replacing some of your enterprise class tape library capacity with a disk-based product. 74% said that cost of the solution was the main factor. The great news with the DXi series is valuable new technology called data deduplication. Data deduplication reduces the overall cost of a disk-based data protection solution by enabling organizations to retain more backup data on disk for longer periods of time. My testing started with the configuration of a DXi series system as an iSCSI attached virtual tape library. Ten minutes after getting started with the menu-driven configuration, Veritas Net Backup was streaming backup data onto a DXi series system over an Ethernet network. Later, we ran backup simultaneously over Fiber Channel, iSCSI, and NAS at the same time. So why does this matter? Quantum System is easy to configure as a virtual tape library using iSCSI or Fiber Channel, but it can also be used as a network-attached share drive using SIFS or NFS. Regardless of the option you choose, configuring the DXi to work with existing backup software is quick and easy. This matters the most at remote locations where IT resources may be limited or non-existent. So next we looked at Quantum's data deduplication capabilities. Data deduplication is powerful technology that reduces capacity requirements by ensuring that only unique data is written to disk. We used a variety of methods to test data deduplication using real-world application data. We ran four days' worth of full backups using Home Directory and Microsoft Exchange email data, and then we projected the savings that could be achieved over time. We also audited the results of Microsoft Exchange backups from a customer's production environment. Our testing validated that quantum data deduplication and hardware compression can be used to reduce disk capacity by up to 50 to 1, depending on the type of data, how much the data is changing between backups, the backup policies in use, and how many days' worth of backup data you keep on disk. Even at 20 to 1, the potential savings are astounding. At 20 to 1, you can retain 20 terabytes of backups, for quick and reliable restores using only one terabyte of disk capacity. That's 95% less disk capacity than you need without data deduplication. This results in lowering the cost per gigabyte so you can retain more backups on disk. We also tested the performance capabilities of the DXi series. Single and multi-stream backups using Veritas Net Backup were tested to verify Quantum's backup performance claims of 290 gigabytes per hour for the DXi 3500. An audit of a similar round of testing was used to validate claims of up to 800 gigabytes per hour for the DXi 5500. So why does this matter? Well, our research has shown that the number one priority for adopters of disk-based backup and recovery technology is performance. Backup administrators have been struggling for years to get their nightly backups completed before business resumes in the morning. And quicker recoveries are needed to increase user productivity and increasingly to meet service level agreements. Based on my experience testing disk-based deduplication solutions, the performance of the Quantum DXi is impressive for a solution of this class. Last, but certainly not least, we tested the remote replication capabilities of the DXi series. Remote replication was configured between a simulated primary data center in Colorado and a secondary data center in California. Data deduplication and compression reduced the amount of data traveling over the WAN for a pair of full backups. So why does this matter? Well, we verified that the Quantum DXi series data deduplication and hardware compression, it can bring the same level of savings to WAN bandwidth as it does to disk capacity.
Reducing WAN bandwidth not only reduces cost, but it can also be used to protect enormous amounts of data over long distances, which otherwise might have been impossible without data deduplication. So what's the bottom line with the DXi series? We've been tracking the progress of Quantum's disk-based backup and recovery solutions for several years. ESG Lab testing and discussions with end users have confirmed that Quantum's VTL solutions fit seamlessly into existing backup environments while providing dramatic performance improvements compared to legacy tape-based methods. Now with the DXI supporting data deduplication, customers can protect and retain 10 to 50 times more data for fast and reliable restores. Combined with the enhanced capacity, performance, and flexibility of the DXI series platform, Quantum customers now have a wide choice of solutions that can be used to deliver months of nearline protection for primary data stores ranging in size from 250 gigabytes to almost 11 terabytes. Well, that concludes my summary of ESG Lab validation testing of the Quantum DXi series. If you'd like to learn more, point your web browser to www.quantum.com for a full copy of the ESG Lab validation report. Thanks.